Borden. Do you remember how this guy was pronounced? This. Um... Oh, this is Hin. No, Hin. So this is pronounced as um, Hin when it's with another kanji. So you have a kanji here and then Hin. So actually, if this is with, um, like, for example, Tsukao, this actually is Shina. And I apologize for that. I made you do heen like 20 times last week, but I mean, two days ago, but it, it would be pronounced by Shina in that context. So for example, can you read this sentence for me? Yes. Um, ore wa tsaki no wakimichi ni suberi komi taibo no senri hin Nagameta. Perfect. And can you read this one over here? Ah. Wakata. Koitsu wa machutsu ni sukau hin. It'd be shina mono. That's that's a shit. It'd be shina. So that, that, that's my shina. I messed you up. Machutsu ni sukau shina mono. Shina. I said mono because mono is like saying so. <laughs> Shina. I, Shina. I'm like really messing you up. Hi. Um, Machutsu si no mado seki da. Nice. Okay. So now we can go back to our normal program. Totsuzen. Do you happen to know what totsuzen means? Totsuzen. Uh, suddenly occur. Yes, suddenly. Now we have hageshi which means I'm um, violent or some kind of aggressive type of thing. Hageshi. Hageshi. So this right here ends with Zen. Do you know how it starts with? Sake Zen. Uh, this is actually Totsu. Totsu Zen. Totsu. Which was a suddenly. Totsu Zen. Totsu. Um, can you read the sentence for me? So the sore wa Hageshi Hageshi Hikari da. Yep. What does this mean? Um, th um, that uh, violent flame. Plus that violent light. Nice. That the violent light. Yeah. Right. Perfect. Um, can you read this for me? Otsuzen nanika ga mitsuketa. Suddenly. Oh, what is this I found? Yes. Well, what would be nani? But nani ka is ah. actually something. So to find something. I found something ah. suddenly. Hi. Hi. This ka is not at the end of the sentence. So it's not Hi. a question. Yes. Um. So this start with totsu. How does it end with? Totsu, totsu zen. Yep. Zen. Totsu zen. Suddenly. Um, do you know what the te form of naru is, which means to become? Not that. Yep, not that. Okay. Um, do you know how this verb is pronounced? It normally ends with su. Yep. Perfect. So let's go read the sentence. Totsuzen ore jisin made geshi chimatta. Hi. What does this mean? Suddenly, um, I, I come completely disappear. Yes. Oh no! Suddenly, I suddenly yep. I completely disappear. Yes. Hi. So naru. So normally, when you see naru, you're gonna see ni naru, like neko ni naru. That is the normal thing you'll see. However, this ni could be to. It could be. It could be neko to naru. These are both grammatically correct. The difference is that to is more dramatic. It feels more like this is your final destination is how they describe it. Hi. So the idea is that you become a cat and that's it. That is your end of the line. You have become a cat. That was your goal. You became it. You're done. Good job. You're never becoming a human again. Versus this one is more just you became a cat. Maybe one day you'll become a human again. Who knows? So that's how the to. So right here, we want to say to become light. So the idea is that it's like at the end of like, the, uh, finally it became a light kind of almost. So how do you say?
となる。Yep, 光となる。Perfect. So our next word is inazuma. Inazuma means lightning. Inazuma. Inazuma. Kanji doesn't make sense. It's pretty random kanji. I think it's like sumu, is it? I don't know. It's like woman, wife, something. Something to do with.、Um, it could、like、have to、plant. do with、um, religious ways as well. Like, you know, a lot of times gods exist things. Oh, I see. Okay. Gods make thunder. Or the, I see. Yeah, so the wife, perhaps. That's a mom. Yeah, so can you read the sentence for me? Hi, Inatsuma tonaru hikari. What does this mean? It means the light,、um, thunder, the thunder that b e c o m e what the,、mm, the thunder that b e c o m e the light. So, with Japanese translating to English, you normally actually have to start at the end. There's a couple of rare exceptions where you can do, follow the same order, but in general, especially with relative clauses, you actually start at the end. So, it's the light that became lightning rather than lightning that became light. So, the light becomes at the very end lightning. Inazuma to naru hikari. Okay. Light that became lightning. Yes. So now we're looking at Yona again.、Um, can you do me a favor and read? So, Yona is when you're using things with like adjectives, like Dorobo no Yona Majuchishi would be a magician that is like a thief. Yoni, we're using this ni to turn this like into like an adverb to describe how they're doing the verb. Do me a favor and read the sentence for me. Hey, Dorobo Yoni Doka o Sunda. What's the saying? Nunda. It's saying,、uh, steal, to steal money like a thief. Exactly, to steal money like a thief. So, how would you say to become an intense light that is like lightning? So, by intense, I want you to use the word violent, which is hageshi. So, our first part is to become an intense light, a violent light. How would you say that? Hageshi to become, to become a violent light. Hageshi hikari, hageshi hikari naru. Hi. What particle should we put over here? O. You can't、ni. really use O. You can use ni. That would be grammatically correct. So, this right here says to become a violent light. So, yes, this is our main aspect of the sentence. Now, we want to add a relative clause into here, which is that is light, like that is like lightning. So,、um, so, with this, that, I would probably use、uh, yona, perhaps, in this context. So, how would you say that is like lightning? How would you say that using yo? Inazama no yona. Hi. Hageshi. Inazama no yona. Yep, that's exactly. We just would have this and we'd stick that right in the front.、Uh, Inazuma no yona. Hageshi hikari ni naru. You could, if you did ni instead here, that would be insinuating the way in which it turned was like becoming lightning. But it's probably,、um, na makes more sense because we're just describing that the violent light was like lightning. Rather than the way it was turning was like lightning.、Um, so, our next word is hotobashiru. Hotobashiru means to surge up or to well up. And、um, here is an example sentence with it. Can you read it for me? Totsuzen hikari.、Um, this was take a hikari hi, hikari h i t o Hitobashita to well up the light welding up. So, Totuzen Hikari ga Hitobashita. Perfect. Yep. Suddenly the light surged. You're correct. Surging is kind of、uh, no intent with surging. Nice.、Hi. So, over here in this sentence, we're using yo ni, it looks like, because they're saying the way in which it became. So, the way in which it's、um, bursting out. 
it's uh, surging out is like Inazuma rather Inazuma. than put saying like the Hikari. So their focus right here is not on the light, but instead on the verb of hotobashiru. So let's go read the sentence. Hey, sore ga totsuzen Inazuma no you ni hageshi hikari to natte hotobashita. So then suddenly, like a lightning, um, it violently, the, uh, the violent light uh, became and it surged up. Yeah, you kind of said that a little weird. So this sorega up here is actually referring to the hikari. Specifically, um, honoka, I think was the word. Honoka hikari. Honoka. It was a very faint light, if you remember, that was warm like a fireplace. So that is what we started with. So that light that was um, very weak at the beginning, suddenly, as if it was like lightning, it became a violent light and surged out. Does that kind of make mm. sense how that flowed together? Hi. Hi. It was it started small and then it grew yes. large suddenly. Yes. And that's why this toll is here. The idea is that that is final um end was it surging in a violent light versus if it was knee, it perhaps after it surges it might still be light. It might not be ended. But here that's like the final end of the light coming out of the stone. Um so our next word is ten metsu with ten, which is like dot. <laughs> and ten minutes it means to flash, so kind of flashing light. So on and off, in other words, ten minutes. Uh, can you do me a favor and read this sentence? We have a new onomatopoeia that's in it. Hikari ga chika chika to ten minutes suru. What do you think this means? Um, chika chika, like flickering. Yes, this is the on sound and, effect for off. flittering. Yep, so it's saying it's flickers in a flickering-like way. <laughs> so a little bit excessive, <laughs> what that tenmetsu. is. Tenmetsu also mean on and off. Yes, tenmetsu okay. is the verb ra ra rather than the sound effect. Hi. So flashing in a flickering kind of way. So the light flickers, fl in other words. It's flashing chika chika. So, so. And our next word is afureru. Afureru means to overflow. And I really like the picture here because you see there's a water and then there's like a plate. And I don't know what this is, but it kind of looks like it's overflowing. <laughs> afureru. Afureru. Um, so afureru. Af yes. So afureru is a do verb. So it is what it looks like. And this right here is a word I really like. Do you happen to know it? Neko. Neko. Yep. Kitty cat. Neko. Hi. So here we're missing two particles, and I want that to say the water overflows the street. How do you think you would say that? Water overflows the street, or to the street. Like it flow, it flow, it it flooded the street, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, so wakamichi o mitsu ga. Afureru. That's a good guess. So, o insinuates intent. And afureru, mm. to flood, it's more like a natural cause of overflowing than someone being like, I'm going to overflow, I'm going to flood the streets. So, because of that, we can't really use o. So, instead, we uh. use ni to direct where the water is flowing. So, the water is overflowing in the direction of the street, causing it to flood. So, wakimichi ni, misu ga afureru. And our next word is mure. Mure, mure. is um the word for like a pack of animals. So this is flock and this is herd. And as I said, a pack. Any of these kind of words, a murderer of crows, those are all mure. Hi. Can you read this for me? Neko no mure ga iru. 
What does this mean? Pack of cat. Yes. There is. Yep, there is a pack of cats. I don't know what that would be. A herd of cats? What is what is the herding herd, uh, word for cats? A flock. Flock. Uh, hmm. What would it be? I don't know. Um, pack it seems fine. I feel like there's probably a specific word for it, but I don't know. A gang. A gang, a of, gang cats. of cats. That cat. sounds right, actually. A gang of cats. Yeah. Um, do you happen to recognize this kanji? Shadow. Yeah, shadow. Which is how is that red? Do you know? Kage. Yep, kage. Perfect. Uh, what is the mass form of afureru, which is a do verb? Afuremas. Perfect, afuremas. Nice. So right here is a difference between kesu and kieru. Both of these have the same kanji because they have the same basic meaning, which is to erase. The difference is that one of them has intent, right? For example, neko no mure wa eso kesu means the what was the word we use? Uh, the gang of cats. The gang of cats made the cat the animal food disappear. Versus this one right here, which can you read this one for me? Neko no mure ga kieru. What does this mean? In the gang of cat. The gang of cat disappear. Exactly. The gang of cats disappear. Perfect. So what do you think we need over here for the shadow disappeared? Kage ga kieta. Yep. Kage ga kieta. And our next word is useru, which is to lose. Um, this could be you lose something or something like gets lost. Useru. So, kie useru basically means something disappears when the idea is like it, it disappears getting away from you, kind of. It's like a more natural than if you just... So, I said neko ga kieru. That's a little bit weird. Like, it's very, like, direct right there. Like, the cat is erased, almost, rather than disappearing. So, that's why we say kie useru, because that, that's a little bit more natural in this context. Because not like we what got, like, this? an eraser. What? So this useru part is an, it's another verb, isn't is yes. that right? Yes, it is this verb, useru, which is to lose something to or to vanish, to fade away. I guess fade is what this is, useru, to fade. So when you add fading with disappearing, it's basically just a way to say something vanishes, to disappear, kie useru. But um, in, you could really replace it with, just by itself but this is just a little bit more natural because it's kind of adding more words to it you know so rather than just saying it was erased it kind of was like it went away it disappeared it vanished or whatever so kage ga kie useru so the the shadows disappear shadows vanish Hi. um how is this guy pronounced with the edu Iaru. Yep, kieru. Nice. And our next word is obieru. This is to be frightened. Obieru. Can you read the sentence for me? Obieta neko ga kieru. What does this mean? The frightened cat disappeared. Yes, the frightened cat disappeared. What's a race? Um, Isei ni means all at once, like bam, everybody does it together. Isei ni. Isei. Okay, let's go read our line from the book. Hai. Hikari ga chika chika to tenmetsu shite wakimichi ni afure kage ga obieta Kuro neko no mure no yo ni ise ise ni kie kie useru. Hi, perfect. So our first um set is hikari ga chika chika to tenmetsu shite waki nichi ni afureru. What do you think this is saying? 
the main thing, the main the object light. is Hikari. Right. The light flicker and it flooded into the street. Perfect. And let's see what else happened. Now the, the subject is the shadow. Height. Obieta. Uh, this right here say, is this whole thing. Obieta neko kurai neko nombure no yoni. So we have yo no yoni right here to describe the verb. Right. Um, the shadow, like uh, like a frightened ca black cat, um, like a frightened gang of black cat. Yes. What do they do? Yes. All together. Yes. Ni. Kieru, kie useru. Hai. Fade away. Yes. So the shadows all together like a like a gang of black scared cats disappeared. So the idea is that it like it's scattered in other words. So you, rather than saying one at a time or following, it was just kind of like all over. When once there were cats and then there were no cats. So you can see right here, we got the same subject for these two. Over here, we have a slightly different subject. So it would be a little bit weird to have te. Like, well, different objects. So these share objects. Hi. Um, kanji check. Um, this was from last week. Super important word. Do you remember what it was? No. It actually starts with a da. Uh, the way. Uh, the You're right. It's Something dando. Warm, the fire, danbo. Hi, we got warm fire door. Hmm. Dan. War... I'm sorry to clarify. Danbo, right? Danro. Ro. Hi. Hi. Danro. What does warm fire door mean? A uh, fireplace. Yes, fireplace. Nice. And that's done with that paragraph. Do you happen to know this kanji? Modoru. Yep, modoru to return. Um, what particle do you think should go here when you say the grandpa returns? Tisan ga modota or tisan wa modota. Yep. Both of those work great. Grandpa returns. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Sakino wakimichi ni. Sibari konda. Hi. This, this um, is some words from konda, last time. Konda is to um is to squeeze into. Yes. Uh subari. I now forgot that verb. It's the slide. So the slide, slide. into is subari komu. Or to slip Subarikomu. into. Just like slip. in English. Hi. Therefore, this sentence is. Um, the the street just now. The street that was just a while ago, slip into. Yes, to slip into the street I just saw a bit ago, the, the previous street. Perfect, pretty side street. Yes. So this was here because I want to check if you remember what saki meant. Saki, saki, because that's gonna show up Hi. in um a sentence soon. And here's another sentence for you to read. Got some. You remember these kanji. Tisan ga modotte kuru. Ashioto ga shita. Hi. So you can say oto ga suru to make a sound occurs. Hi. So a sound, the the a, the sound of the footstep did um did happen. Happen. Hi. Um. The sound of the oh, the oh, the Jisan returning. Yes. Uh, so towards the, the speaker. Yeah, perfect. Yep. So the sound of the footsteps of the grandpa returning made sound. <laughs> kind of hard to translate that shita. Uh, but yeah, perfect. Next is suruto. Right. This isn't actually really a word. This is kind of like a grammar point that's been like used a lot that's now kind of a word. Suru is to do. And to is a grammar point 
That means immediately after the next thing occurs. Suruto. So this basically just means Suruto. and then. So right after and then. Suruto. Because this right. happened, that's surud, and then something happens right afterwards. Suruto. Okay, let's go read our lines from the book. Suruto. Saki no chi-san ga morotte kuru ashioto ga shita. Kan katsun 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 kotsun katsun katsun kotsun. Nice. Katsun katsun katon. Katsun katsun katon. Hi. Does that ever make a sound? Uh, it does, huh? Katon. The cut 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 cutun. Katon. 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 I don't know. Hi. <laughs> Very creative. Hi. Hi. Hmm. So yeah, what does this mean? Suruto, and then Saki no Chisan ga the Chisan just a moment ago modotte kuru he returned towards the speaker ashioto ga shita and the, the sound um occurred. What sound? Uh, and it the foot the foot yes. sound, the footstep sound. Yep, the gramps from Walking earlier. Speed. The sound of him returning happened. <laughs> it was heard. So next word is nigishimeru. This is also a compound word, but I decided to just have it as one word for here. This means like to clutch, like to really hold your hand, holding something like very aggressively. So it's like you're squeezing I... it, gripping it. Uh, shimeru is like the squeeze and this is to grab. So to squeezy grab. Hi. Hi. Niki. So, hi. So yeah, what do you think the particle should be over here? Haibo no senri hin. Oh. Yep. Nigiri shimeta. Yep. So basically he clutches um his booty he's been waiting for. Booty. Can um, I ask what that shimeru mean? Uh shimeru is like to squeeze. Kind of. Um, see. One is to squeeze, the other is to clutch. Yeah. Um, it can also Grip. mean to close, but I, I believe it's the strangling shimeru. Um, I'd have to like double check kanji, but because shimeru mm. has like multiple meanings, but it doesn't have kanji. But that's what would be my assumption because it means to clutch. So strangling with your hands closed would be the, uh, my assumption. So this, this is similar to that compound word earlier, to disappear and then to fade. Yes. This one is more like to grab and then to squeeze afterward. Yes. Hi. Do you remember this guy? We saw this earlier, not like today, but like a couple of lessons ago. I mean to go deep into the yes. example you used this was is... to go deep into the forest. Yes. The depths. Oku or something. Yes, exactly. Oku? Was that right? Yep, it is oku. Um, so next is awateru. Awateru is used when you want characters to hurry up and get something done, but like when, when someone's hurrying. But it, it kind of has a little bit of to be in a panic kind of um, insinuation with it. So to be panicked or to be in a hurry. But the idea is that you're rushing to get something done, probably because you have some panic going on. Awateru. Um, this is um, a do verb. Awateru. So you'll see awatete very often. Okay. Hi. Let's go read our sentence from the book. Awatete mado seki o nigiri shime. Poketto no oku ni tsukomu to hikari wa sutsutto kieta. Okay. So sto What's a sound effect we also saw a while ago? Uh, it's probably a hard one to remember what it means, but it's kind of um, means suddenly. Sudden. Yeah. 
like tall. But it can so also yeah. mean gently. Oh. So it's a sudden and a gently like kind of way. So uh, we saw this it's earlier a... referring to um, the feather of his hand. He said he slipped his hand inside someone's pocket. So he did it quickly, but he also did it gently. So it's a I... gentle fastness. So we have a word here that means sudden. And earlier we mentioned the word totuzen, Hai. which also means sudden. Yes. So totuzen is of the word sudden. Suto is an adverb with that to right there modifying the verb. So we're saying the way in which kieta occurred was in a sudden but gentle fashion versus the word totuzen, which is literally the word suddenly. So totuzen Hai. is a way what, what you can just put on the top of the sentence to mean suddenly this occurs. Versus describing how something occurred. So this is the way versus like a written way to tell us next event. Hi. Hi. So, I want that day um, to hurriedly um, the magic stone to grab and clutch the magical stone in kind of like a panic. Uh, so panic is a good a in this context. So in a panic, he grips the stone. He grips um, the stone. Okay. And um, to referring to the, the this, this whole clause with to means this happened and then the next event happened. Yes, immediately after. So pocket no oku ni sukomu. Uh, this sukomu komu is to stuff into yes suko is to reach in to to stab something so to yes. slip inside of the pocket uh deep inside the pocket Perfect. and immediately afterward the light um so hikari wa and then this wa emphasize the part afterwards so it's to kieta meaning it's suddenly uh, extinguish yes the it's actually insinu this is actually making the hikari more aggressive because it's kind of hikari ga kieta the light disappears so the default in this context oh. is the ga so in this case though yes, it's yes. actually the light that's more important to know that the something's happening to the light so it's very like the light disappeared yes yes so this topic marker is emphasizing hikari yes nice oh and right now it is our halfway point uh, gotta remind you before we get kicked out. <laughs> so I'll see you in two seconds. <laughs>